Hello, MBI Eagles. Today I'm going to go into a little more detail about metaphor. We talked a bit last week about what similes and metaphors were. So as a review, a metaphor is when you compare two things by saying that something is something else. Uh, writers use this technique to add detail to their pieces. And I'd like to share with you a couple of metaphors seen in poetry. The first poem was written by Langston Hughes. He was an African-American writer during the Harlem Renaissance. He lived from 1902 until 1967, and this poem is called Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. In this poem, Hughes creates two metaphors. The first one can be found in stanza one. In poetry, the paragraphs are actually divided into stanzas. And in stanza one, Hughes says that life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. In this metaphor, Hughes is comparing life to a broken winged bird by saying that that's what life is, which is a metaphor. In stanza two, he continues with a second metaphor Again, comparing life with a barren field frozen with snow. So by saying that life is a barren field, he's created another metaphor for what happens when we don't dream anymore. I'm going to share another poem with you. This one um, is called Campfire, and it starts, Flames are horses, nickering, flickering, quickly over ash. Sparks in dark new horses gallop, manes and tails a flash. Riding night so strong, so bright, they canter into coal, leaving smoky cinders, leaving hoof prints on my soul. So in the very first line of this poem, we see another metaphor. Uh, this writer, Amy Ludwig van der Water, compares flames and horses by saying that flames are horses. So again, she is comparing two things by saying something is something else. In this case, the flames of a campfire are horses. So I challenge you to get out there and read a little, look up some poetry, see if you can find some metaphors on your own. Thank you.